Families faced unprecedented mental health challenges during the pandemic, and they will continue to encounter difficulties with the transition into the new normal. Needham Youth and Family Services will host a discussion about mindful resilience with Dr. Chris Willard, who's a psychologist, author, and consultant currently teaching at Harvard Medical School. He'll share common mental health challenges kids and teens are dealing with today, tips on how to provide support, and he'll leave plenty of time at the end for questions. Mindful Resilience for Mental Health in the New Normal will be on Wednesday, November 9th from 7 to 8.30 p.m. at the Center at the Heights. Ashley Moran spoke with Dr. Willard about the upcoming event. What can parents expect to learn at the talk on November 9th? As a therapist, um, these past few years, I've, I've had to hospitalize more kids for suicide in, in 2020 than I probably did in the rest of my career combined. So things are very acute right now. And I think th there's a lot of different warning signs, just being down, just being sad. I think we've all felt down. We've all felt sad. We've all felt worried over the course of these past few years. But are there lingering effects where these really last for a long period of time? Are our kids isolating more than usual? Are we really seeing their performance go go way down in school? Are they are they socializing less? The things that they used to care about, whether it's sports or friendships or all kinds of things, are those not that their interests aren't, aren't changing because that's developmentally appropriate, but are those shutting down so that they seem to have no interest in those things? Are they are they too scared, too anxious to do some of those things that, that used to bother them, but they could push through? When these are happening for, when we see this happening for weeks or months on end, then we really want to start to worry. Right? Likewise, you know, kids will experiment with different ways of eating or exercising and things like that. And no kid is usually, and few adults are usually always extremely happy with their appearance. But what are the times that we want to start to really worry? Is there an eating disorder happening? What's the difference between healthy experimentation as an adolescent with maybe substances? And when do we really want to start to worry as, as parents, as caregivers, as educators, as people that care about our kids? What are some of those warning signs? Are we seeing kids using more than their friends? Are we seeing um, their tolerance go up? Are we seeing this um, doing drugs and alcohol and things like that in isolation as opposed to in social situations? These different things are what we want to look for when we when we really start to worry about about a child or an adolescent. What do you hope parents walk away knowing after your presentation? To know that you're not alone, to know that that Needham and surrounding communities, that there are resources that are out there for you. There are other parents who are going through, have been through, or will go through some of the challenges that you're going through. And I hope parents walk away feeling more connected as a community. And then I think with some um, some some tips to what, what they might want to look out for with their kids and just as importantly a few things that they can do to support their kids to learn how to be somewhat better listeners uh, to their to their children's concerns to their teenagers concerns and then find ways that they can appropriately support them whether that's psychotherapy or medication or whether that's just putting other supports in place that we know are going to be helpful to kids so that they can grow up being more resilient making better decisions and hopefully grow up not just surviving this time, but really thriving after this time um, to grow up really stronger and healthier and happier.